Hello everybody. Isn't the Lord amazing? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. A quick message tonight. We have two options to make each day. You know, are we going to set our mind on things that are going wrong in our life? Are we going to set things are we going to set our mind on things that, you know, that's, that's not going the way that we would like it to go while we are alive here on the face of planet Earth? You know, guys, remembering that this is a fallen world, remembering that the lowercase g God of this world, Satan, is the ruler of this world, and he has a big influence in this world. And that he, Satan, and all of those fallen angels, their agenda is to kill, steal, and destroy. You know, guys, you know, guys, understanding these things, understanding that Jesus said in the world there will be tribulation, you know, guys. In other words, there's going to be trouble in this world while you are alive, you know, guys. Just because you are born again, it doesn't mean that life is going to be easy. As a matter of fact, it, it will be harder, but there will be more peace. There will be more grace. You know, guys, in many cases, it, it can be a lot harder because instead of going on the broad path, like a fish swimming with the current, you know, guys, you are like a fish that is swimming upstream against the current, you know, guys. You're swimming against the current, you know, guys, and that's hard. That's a straight and narrow path. So, you know, guys, I want to point out that if you focus on, you know, um, the negative, the negative things in your life, it could be let down. You may have a health problem. You may have a financial deficit. You may be a loner. You know, you might be wanting to be a part of a community and you still haven't found a church community. You may be wanting to find that soulmate or just Christian born again believers, friends in your life because you, you know, you, you cut off all of the worldly friends. You know, guys, um, there are many negative things in this life, you know, that you can be focusing on, like possibly buying a house. You know, guys, I don't know about the country that you live in. But here in Australia, you know, um, it's, I think it's one of the most expensive places to live in the world. I think it might be number three in the world. So the, one of the most expensive places to buy a house and to live, you know, guys, compared to other countries. So in other words, you know, guys, if you are focusing on, you know, these negative things, you know, guys, if you're focusing on all of the letdowns of life, all of your failures, all the things that you want to achieve but you can't achieve at the moment, if you're focusing on the negative, 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 then it means that your eyes have come off of Jesus. You know, guys, Jesus said to Peter and to, you know, the 12, he said, come and follow me. You know, Jesus said, come and follow me. But let me ask you this, can you follow someone if you're not looking at them or you're not watching, you know, you know, if you're trying to follow someone and your eyes are on a bird or a tree or this or that or in your phone, you're not going to be following Jesus. You're going to get lost. You're going to go down paths and make decisions that God never wanted you to, you to do because you took your eyes off of Jesus. You know, guys, there are many scriptures about what I'm speaking about here to, you know, to keep your eyes on things on the earth is like death. But to keep your eyes on things above is peace. It's clarity. You know, guys, it's, um, you know, guys, it's, it's, it's knowing that your God is in control, knowing that Jesus loves you, knowing that he is your provider, knowing that he is your healer. Knowing that He is your Savior, knowing that He is your Counselor, knowing that He is your Prince of Peace, 
knowing that he is your problem solver. Hallelujah. You know, guys, there are many things here on the face of planet Earth that we still can't solve, like the common cold. You know, guys, we can send people to the moon. We can make nuclear bombs. We can make AI, artificial intelligence, but we can't cure the common cold yet. You know, guys, cancer. You know, guys, there has been billions and billions and hundreds of trillions of dollars put into, you know, finding the cure to cancer, yet they still haven't found it. Trillions and trillions of dollars later, millions of hours of research, and they still haven't found it. Yet Jesus, 2,000 years ago, laid hands on people with cancer, and they got healed. You see, Jesus is the answer. Jesus is the cure. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And I know someone tonight has been keeping their eyes on, on a problem in their life, keeping their eyes on, 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 on some kind of negativity. You know, guys, and demons will continue, will bombard you with these thoughts to keep your mind on negative things. You know, guys, I know I'm a human being. I'm born again and I'm following Jesus. I know the good fight of faith. I know what you're going through in that sense because I'm following the Lord too. I don't know exactly what you're going through, but I know the human experience. I know wrestling against demons, taking thoughts captive. You know, guys, we need to fight the good fight. You know, guys, and I want to encourage someone tonight to put your focus back on Jesus. Put your focus back on the King. Put your focus back on the Good Shepherd. Put your focus back on the Provider. Put your focus back on the Healer. Put your focus back on your Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You know, I know this message is for someone tonight. If, if you want a prayer request, you know, leave you know, your prayer requests in the comment section below. You know, if you um, could press the like button because it helps YouTube share this, this message to other people. You know, guys, it helps YouTube to share it to other people. You know, guys, and put your focus back on Jesus. Jesus has plans to prosper you, to give you hope and a future and not to harm you. You know, guys, Jesus has plans to wipe away every tear. Jesus has plans for you to live in one of his houses, his mansions in the kingdom of heaven, to give you a glorified body. You know, he has written your name in the Lamb's book of life. You know, guys, God has some good plans for you. You know, guys, but we got to focus on him. We got to set our eyes on him and follow him. You know, guys, don't be distracted by your problems. Rather, keep your focus on the problem solver. The one who can fix your problems. Hallelujah. Jesus loves you. Thanks for watching, guys. And put your focus back on Jesus. See you guys. Bye.